Hello, this is Charles Culp with SW Tuts, and I'm going to be talking here briefly about conic sections and what was added to SolidWorks 2014. So new for SolidWorks 2014 is conic sections uh, auto tangency. I can show you what I mean here. We can edit this sketch and we can add a conic section here. Now normally conic sections are used to make smooth contours between two edges and sketches or on faces. And that normally means we always want them to be tangent. Uh, there's very few times when I'd make a conic section that wasn't tangent. So if we check marks this auto tangency here, now when I select two endpoints it automatically makes it tangent. All I have to do is click to set the row value and that's it. So that's nice. Uh, you know, again, I don't know when I would be creating a conic section where it wouldn't be tangent, so that makes that quick and easy. The bigger enhancement, though, I think, is what they've done with the fillet tool. We'll take a look at this nice force distribution plate modeled by Anna Wood. Thank you, thank you to her for that. Uh, we can see now in the fillet property manager we have some new options with constant size fillet. And all of these types of fillets, we now have different profiles we can we can edit. So besides circular, we can also make conic fillets. We can set that either with the row value or with the radius. Let me show you here. If we come in and create a conic with a row of 0.5, that's basically the same thing as a circular fillet. See, it looks like a, a regular circular fillet here. Uh, that's what a row of 0.5 means, but of course we can go in and I'm just rotating the mouse wheel here over the number. And you can see that just switches from a really low row value, which basically makes it a chamfer, all up to really high row value, which makes it an almost sharp edge. And uh, so now you don't even have to create those sketches to make your conics, you can just use the fillet tool. So that makes things pretty easy. This also works with face fillets hold lines. Uh, all the old options are still there and they all still work. So that's great. We can also do a multiple radius fillet with conic sections, which is great if you're coming up to a small area and you want that to, to be a good transition. So you can create what would otherwise be uh, very difficult surfacing techniques and instead just use the fillet tool. So that's great for everybody. Uh, that's all I have today, so thank you and I hope you like the new conics in 2014.